So today this video is going to introduce you the function of the text block as well as the LCD backlighting function in ladder logic. So let's get a new project started here. Still we select our favorite device SR3B101BD. Select ladder logic as our programming language. Click on next to go into the program interface. On the bottom section, you will find this button here with this icon. This is the text block function. The text block can be used as a coil in the program. We can add up to 16 text blocks in one ladder logic program. There are two types of the coil here, enable coil and a reset coil. So let's drag it here, drag another reset coil here. So let's see how the text block coils are described. Double click on the contacts and then click on the question mark to bring up the online health file text block topic. As you can see here, there are detailed description about this functionality. But I'm going to go in to give out a simple program as well as a demonstration to see how this thing will work exactly. Next to the text block here, you will find the LCD backlighting function here. We can drag the function block on the coil column. Double click on it to bring up the description about this function here. Which means that if you give this block a constant high signal, the backlight of your front LCD on the smart relay will light up. And if you de-energize it, that light goes off. So let's build up a simple program here to demonstrate the function for both blocks. Here I want to use a timer and then trigger a counter upcounting counter so when the counter reaches specific preset value it will trigger my text block to show some letters here on the front LCD and also when the timer or say when the text block shows up I want the front LCD to light up here I need to use the contact of the timer as well and then I need to have a input here to reset the counter. As else, reset the text block. Connect it. Okay. And as we can see that the program consistency monitor is still giving us a red warning here. Let's click on it to see what's the arrow. So timeout value 0, preset counter 0. Yes, that's true. We haven't set the timer. And we haven't set the text block as well as the counter yet. So let's set the timer first. Here I want to use that symmetrical flashing function. Um, I want to do every single um, half second, I want this thing to count. So what I did here is actually using that flasher timer to help me to trigger the counter so I don't have to manually push or say, close the contact for 20 or 30 times until the counter reaches the preset value. Let's see, until the value reaches 30, That's too long. So until the value reaches 20, I want my counter to trigger the text block. So as you can see here, here it is the text block. Double click on it to go into the configuration window here. So on the text block, we can see two windows here. The first window is the resource of this text block. It can show the information listed here. It can show the date, the current time, the calibration information for this program, and also it can show you the preset and current value for this 
timer as well as the preset and current value for this counter. So how to add it to the text block so this information can appear on your front LCD. The second window is corresponding to your front LCD on the smart relay. This is a 4x18 screen. It's a 4x18 screen. Simply click on any of the position, then there will be a cursor flashing here. This will be the starting point for either the letter or the numbers or the uh, live values you are going to show on the front LCD. For example, for the first row, I want to show the value or say the current value of my timer. So I click on the first position here and then double click on the current value of the timer. As we can see, there is a formula showing up here. And then I want to have a note says timer one. And then for the second row, for example, I want to show the current value of my counter. Then I want to see counter one, C1. For the third row, I want to show the current time here. So double click on it, then it will appear here. And also I want to type in some customized letters. So demo for text. And then click on OK to accept the change. So now we can see the program consistency monitor is in blue, which means the, now the program is error free. So let's run the simulation here. OK. So this is the front panel simulator for your smart relay screen. Okay, so let's now run the program. So this program will work this way. So if I close discrete input number one, this symmetrical flasher will flash very fast and trigger this upcounting counter. As we can see, the preset value for the timer and counter is listed here. It, the timer will turn the timer contact on every half second. The preset value for the upcoming counter is 20. So if the value reaches 20 for my counter, then the counter contact will give a constant on signal to my text block. And then something should appear here on the front LCD. Also, the LCD backlight should light up on the front LCD. If I close discrete input I2 here, it will clear my counter and then also erase everything showing up on the front LCD. Let's see how it works here. Close it. As we can see, it's counting really fast right now. Counter is increasing. So if this current value of the counter reaches 20, the text block will trigger and something will show up here. Now, as we can see, it is showing whatever it put here. For the first row is the current value of the timer. Second row is the current value of the counter. And third row is the current time. Fourth row is the customized text we put in there. And now I want to stop this and clear everything on the front LC as well as reset my counter and close I2. And now we can see the customized text on the front LCD is cleared out and it's showing the default window.